Have you ever stopped to think about what your love life would be like if you looked at it from the perspective of an ancient philosopher today? We'll delve into a perspective that, although originated thousands of years ago, still resonates today. Stoicism, Stoicism born in ancient Greece and flourishing in the heart of ancient Rome, not only addressed questions about the nature of the universe or the purpose of life, but also delved into the complexity of our emotions and relationships. The Stoics believe that life should be lived in harmony with nature, and that our emotions, including love and sexual desire, should be understood and managed wisely. I noticed only 95% of you who have subscribed. Come on guys, show some love and support. Thanks a bunch to those who have already subscribed. Love and sexuality. When viewed from the Stoic perspective, are not mere fleeting passions. Instead, they are opportunities. This video is education purpose. This video is helpful for your life. So, let's start this video. To exercise virtue self-control and most importantly to recognize our shared nature with other human beings, the Stoics taught us that while love can be a powerful and unifying force, it should be approached with awareness and not be driven by uncontrollable passions. As for sexuality, it was not seen as a simple physical act, but rather as an expression of the natural order with its own purposes and meanings. The significance of understanding, this lies in the fact that by doing so, we discover deeper and more meaningful ways to relate to ourselves and others in other other words. The Stoics offer us a lens through which we can see and understand love and sexuality in a broader context where self-control, respect, and mutual understanding are of utmost importance. So, if you've ever felt lost or confused about love and relationships, or if you're simply looking for a fresh and profound perspective, join me on this journey into the world of love and sexuality through the eyes of the Stoics, because even though their words were formulated millennia ago, the lessons they contain are as relevant today as they were back then when we speak the role of nature in sexuality, according to Stoicism. In Stoicism, it's impossible not to mention the deep reverence this philosophy had for nature, but how does this relate to our sexuality and desires first and foremost? For the Stoics' understanding, human nature was essential for leading a virtuous life. They believed that we are born with certain inclinations and desires that at their core are neutral. What truly matters is how we respond onto and act upon them. So when we talk about desire, especially sexual desire, it's not something to be rejected or seen as inherently negative. It's simply a part of human nature. However, what sets us apart, according to the Stoics, is how we choose to act, based on those desires beyond the mere acceptance of. Desire is natural. The Stoics viewed sexuality from a much broader perspective, one connected to the cosmos. In their view, everything in the universe follows a determined order by nature, a constant flow of causes and effects, Sexuality, in this context, is nothing more than an expression of that natural order. It's not just a physical act or a simple attraction. It's a manifestation of nature's will for life to continue. This understanding of sexuality as something in harmony with the order of the universe leads. The Stoics to see it as something transcendental. It's not simply about pleasure or procreation. It's a way to connect with something greater than oneself with the rhythm and melody of the cosmos. Therefore, when approaching sexuality from a Stoic perspective, we're not just talking about individual acts or desires, but about how they fit into love the grand tapestry of nature. It's a reminder that we are fundamentally natural beings and that our desires and actions, even in the realm of sexuality, should be understood and address it in that broader context because at the end of the day, our sexuality, like any other aspect of our existence, is an opportunity to live in harmony with the universe and with ourselves. Love relationships and detachment. Have you ever heard of the term stoic love at first glance? It might seem like a contradiction considering that stoicism is known for its focus on self-control and detachment, while love is one of the most intense and passionate emotions we can experience. But here lies the beauty of stoic thinking regarding love. The stoics, far from renouncing. Love invite us to experience it in a deeper and more meaningful way, Seneca. One of the most renowned Stoics said, It is not because we avoid passions that they lose their power over us. It is because we avert our will to act on them. This is a call not to reject our emotions, but to guide them and give them direction. The central idea here 
is not to be carried away by uncontrolled passions, impulsive and unexamined, love can lead to hasty decisions, obsession or even despair, however when we approach it with stoic wisdom. We can love deeply without losing our inner peace. This is what is known as love without attachment. 2. Love without attachment means to love without expecting anything in return, without trying to possess or control the other person, but simply to appreciate their presence and value the shared moment. And speaking of this, it's impossible not to mention Epicus, who had some profound reflections on love and desire. One of his most iconic phrases goes, Don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do, and you will go on well when applied to love. Epictetus is telling us that instead of trying to mold. The relationship according to our desires or expectations, we should learn to love and appreciate things as they are, accept the impermanence of relationships, the possibility that they may change or even end, and still choose to love anyway. Detachment in the Stoic context doesn't mean a lack of care or affection on the contrary. It means loving in a freer, more genuine way. It's the ability to, to enjoy the present without constantly worrying about the future to appreciate the loved one without trying to change them, and to understand that true love is not possessive but liberating. In summary, the Stoics offer us a unique perspective on love, one that is profoundly passionate, yet balanced and centered. It's a reminder that love in its purest form is a celebration of life and our connection with others. And when we experience it from this place of wisdom and detachment, it becomes one of the most enriching and transformative experiences of our lives, marriage and family in the Stoic marriage. Family vision marriage and family have been fundamental pillars in many cultures throughout history. But how did the Stoics view these institutions? What meaning did they ascribe to them? And how did they live them in their daily lives? To begin with, we must understand that for the Stoics, marriage was not just a union of two people in love, it was also a commitment to society and to the continuity of humanity. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, mentioned, the act of marriage is an act of nature, aimed at the continuation of the species. They did not see it as a mere social convention, but as an integral part of cosmic harmony and the natural order of things from this perspective. The duties and responsibilities in a marriage were not seen as burdens, but as opportunities for personal growth and contributing to the common good. Fidelity, mutual respect, support, and commitment were fundamental for the Stoics. A successful marital relationship was based on virtue, mutual understanding and a commitment to working together for a greater good, both for the couple and for the community. When it comes to education and raising children, the Stoics had an equally deep and reflective perspective. They firmly. Education believed in the idea that children are not simply small adults but beings in development who need guidance, love, and above all, good examples to follow. Seneca said children learn more from what you are than, than from what you teach. In other words, the behavior and actions of parents are the first life lessons for their children. From this perspective, educating a child was not just about imparting knowledge, but also about instilling values, teaching through example, and preparing them to face life with wisdom and resilience. The Stoics advocated for an education that cultivated virtue, self-control, and the ability to face adversity with serenity. In conclusion, the Stoic vision of marriage and family is a combination of commitment to nature society and oneself. It's not just about fulfilling roles or following conventions, but about living according to principles that enrich the lives of individuals and the community as a whole. It's a perspective that, although ancient, continues to have surprising relevance in today's world and offers a refreshing outlook on how to live relationships and family responsibilities to the fullest Stoic advice for a balanced love life. It's essential to remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, who stated what doesn't benefit the hive doesn't benefit the bee. This simple reflection invites us to view love and relationships not only from an individual perspective, but also from a collective one, reminding us that what is good for one should also be good for the partner and vice versa. Seneca on his part advised us that wherever there is a human being, an opportunity to be kind exists in the context of love. This reflection encourages us to treat our partner with kindness, understanding and respect at all times, recognizing their humanity and value in our lives. But how do we apply these pieces of advice in our current relationships? 
Here are some ideas based on Stoic thinking. Value the present. Seneca reminds us that life is brief, so appreciate every moment with your partner. Live in the present and don't let worries or future expectations overshadow your current happiness. Self-control, the Stoics believed in the importance of self-control and love. This means not not giving in to unfounded jealousy, anger or resentment. Cultivate patience and understand that everyone, including yourself, is imperfect love without attachment. As Epic is taught, we should not cling too tightly to external things because they are not under our control. This includes relationships. Love passionately, but be prepared to accept any outcome. With serenity, cultivate communication. While the Stoics didn't directly address communication in relationships, they emphasized the importance of wisdom and understanding in daily life. Open and honest communication is essential for mutual understanding. Seek mutual growth. Love is not just about feeling butterflies in your stomach. It's also about growing together as individuals. As conclusion, Marcus Aurelius said, seek what is beneficial for both and foster mutual improvement in the relationship. In the end, Stoic wisdom invites us to view love and relationships from a perspective of authenticity, understanding, and growth. Although they lived millennia ago, their teachings continued to be a guiding light in the complex maze of love in the contemporary world. By embracing this wisdom, we may find deeper, more meaningful and balanced love in our lives, the legacy of Stoicism in love and sexuality. Today, as we journey through history and delve into the depths of Stoic philosophy, we may wonder about its relevance in our modern world. The answer surprising to some is that it holds significant relevance. The Stoic teachings on love and sexuality are not mere relics of the past, but timeless guides that can illuminate our way of relating in today's world. We live in an era where love and relationships are often idealized and commercialized, and instant gratification seems to govern our interactions. However, the Stoics remind us of the importance of introspection, self-discipline, and genuine connection. Love at its core has not changed over time. What has changed are the circumstances and contexts in which it manifests. Nevertheless, by applying Stoic principles such as valuing the present, self-control, and love without attachment, we can forge more authentic, resilient, and profound relationships in terms of sexuality. Beyond physical pleasure, the Stoic perspective invites us to understand and respect our nature, recognize the beauty and intimate connection, and approach it with a clear mind and a genuine heart as we navigate this modern era with its unique challenges and opportunities. Let us carry with us the gems of wisdom that the Stoics have bequeathed to us, not as a rigid manual, but as a guiding beacon toward more meaningful and enriching relationships before we part. Please confirm your subscription to the channel here are two more videos that might interest you. Take care and see you soon. Please like this video and subscribe my channel for more important educational topics.